So if you're using an AT&T DSL connection, let's take a look at a little tip from our IT department to help us avoid any issues that may, we may run into when installing one of our TP-Link routers to, into a customer's home that's using AT&T DSL. So the first thing we need to do is, of course, physically connect the router uh, to both the customer's computer and the modem. And then you'll want to open up a browser on their computer. And that browser can be Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome, it doesn't matter. And in the address bar at the top, you're going to want to actually erase anything that's there and type 192.168.1.1. Don't worry about a server not found or web page not found message. That's, uh, we're not trying to get to the internet, we're just trying to log into the router. So hit enter once you type that number in and the username is, is admin and the password is admin as well. All of our TP-Link routers will work that way. So anytime you need to log into a TP-Link router, it's admin, admin. So what we're looking at here is how to change the IP address. You can see here it's 192.168.1.1. Um, we want to change that to be .2.1. So you can just click on network and it defaults to LAN. If you don't see LAN here, then just click on the LAN button there. Right in that box, click in there, erase that .1.1 and make it .2.1 and just click on the save button or hit enter. It's going to um, tell you that changing the IP address is going to result in rebooting the router. That's perfectly fine, so just hit OK. It'll tell you that the IP address has been set successfully. Now, in order to log back into the router, this time we're going to need to type the new IP address of 192.168.2.1 and hit Enter. The username and password are going to be the same. And you can see here that it has been changed. We're verified. Of course, we logged in. Now, one thing you need to check before you're done with this process is in the WAN section here, you see WAN, you want the WAN IP to not be zeros. You can see that right now in my illustration it is zeros. That's because my router's just not hooked up to any kind of uh, internet right now. Um, but if you were in a customer's home and this for real life, you would want that to be actually have an IP address there. So if for some reason it doesn't, contact either FSM or the IT department and they can walk you through what other steps you might need to work. This is just a general tip for any time you're using AT&T, DSL, and our TP-Link routers.